Let's see what we can do for our lower back and hips. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, spread those toes out. Push the sitting bones away, tucking down toward the floor. And bring the ribs towards your spine and up, lengthen through that upper body. Take a moment to breathe. Relax your shoulders. Focus inward on the breath, drawing in energy and awareness. And just notice how your body is feeling. Exhale any stress and tension. And we'll do our warm ups. Inhale, arms reaching at shoulder level, stretch the fingertips out, hands to your heart, elbows back, stretch out to the front, keep your shoulders down, and then clasp your hands behind you just gently, fingertips together, and press them toward the floor as you lift your heart, exhale, and pivot over, bring your hands up toward the ceiling and your head down toward the floor, and take a moment and breathe. Straighten your legs as much as you want for that back of your body stretch. And then bend the knees slightly, tuck in your chin, and start at the bottom of your spine, winding back all the way up and into that back bend, lifting your heart, stretching your head back, drop those shoulders down, and stretch from your feet all the way up through the crown. Inhale back upright. Release your arms and focus inward, feeling a little more circulation. And again, arms at shoulder level. Stretch those fingertips out, hands to your heart. Stretch to the front, keep the shoulders down. And then clasp the other way behind you. So just interlace the fingers in one position. Over. Feels weird, but that's okay. Just lift your heart and stretch your spine. Pivot over, exhaling into that forward bend. Move your chin around, let your neck release a little. Put your hips around maybe a little bit too. And then again, in the middle, bend your knees and work your way slowly back up. And again, lifting your heart and stretching that whole back of your body while you're back bending. Take a breath, shoulders down. Spread the toes. And then inhale up, release your arms, and just take a moment again, focusing inward. We'll do our side stretches next. This time, let's keep one hand down, the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away, keep everything facing forward and lean to the side. Push the foot you're leaning away from down. Reach out through your head and your hands. Make sure you're not leaning forward. And then inhale back up. Exhale that arm down. Back in that pose. Feel the difference. Notice your yoga perspective there. And then arm out on the other side. <clears throat> Palm up. Hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away. Get that lengthening. And exhale over to the side. And again, make sure you don't lean forward. You want that whole body facing front. Push the foot you're leaning away from down for that extra stretch along the side that's opening. And feel the contraction on the opposite side. And again, inhale upright and exhale into shoulders back and down. And then bring your feet together. Bend your knees, hands above your knees, just position, remember, don't support, so no pressure in your hands. And just big circles with your knees, bringing that lower body releasing a little bit more. And then stop and go the other way with that knee circle. Feel that lower body getting a little bit warmed up. And then stop and hip with the part, coming back in and out and pose. Clasp your arms behind you, just at your waist. Bend your knees again toward, but not beyond your toes. With the big hip circles. So get that whole lower body, lower back area working. Push into the side as much as you like. And then stop and reverse your circles. And again, just feeling what's going on through that lower body. And of course, your spine. 
and then back to the center, releasing into mountain pose. Just feel a little more circulation through that area. And then really stretch your spine apart for our twist. Arms at shoulder level, palms up, hands above your shoulders, clasp your elbows, bring the arms back by your ears, stretch, sitting bones down, base of the skull up. And exhale and twist. Take a breath. And exhale over in the twist. So just deepen as far as you'd like for your twisted. Exhale any tension. Keep the weight on both sides evenly, both feet. And then work your way up while you're still twisted and lift your heart, dropping your shoulders, pulling your elbows back. So upper body back then, always being gentle when you're in that low back area. Take a breath, relaxing in the twist. Inhale upright, exhale around to the center, switch your arms around, clasping the other leg. And again, really stretch the spine apart so we can twist and turn to the other side. Another breath, and exhale over. And again, deepening as far as you'd like. Sink evenly into both feet. Lift your sitting bones maybe a little bit more. Keep your arms by your ears. Stay in your twist and inhale, working your way back into that upper body back then off the top. And again, lifting the heart, dropping the shoulders and shoulder blades, elbows back. Stretch your head away. Evenly sink into your feet. Inhale up, exhale around to the center, shoulders down, fingertips rising. Clasp your hands and steeple. Bring your arms right next to your ears and really lengthen in that straight position. And then pivot forward and bring your body over to the side. Rotate so you're facing the front as you come all the way up. Come over to the other side. Again, facing down toward the floor and back to the center. And then reversing over to the side, rotate, looking to the front, coming chest high, rising up, rolling over to the other side, and again, coming facing the floor, back to the center. Arms still by your ears, shoulder blades still towards your waist, pivot back up into that extended mountain, and release. Shoulders back and down a couple of times. And relax your arms at your sides. Bring your hands to your heart, palms together, or take the fingers out and down. And then back to the top, and then toward your body, kind of elbows pushing away. And then back fingertips up. And then looking at your hands, bring them toward the ceiling, look at your thumbs, pull them back. And again, lift your heart, stretch through the back of your body bow. Exhale, pivot over as you bring your hands first to your heart and then drop down toward the floor. Bring your hands up under your knees, halfway up, stretch. Elbows, knees, and spine straight. Push those sitting bones back. Lengthen through the back of your body. Exhale, dropping into ragdoll knees, bent, palms together. And again, all the way toward the ceiling. Bring your arms back by your ears as you get to the top. Clasp your hands the opposite way of the steeple. So whatever feels weird, it's your non-habitual way. And again, stretch way up. This time, lift your heart, stretch back through the back of your body, out through the head and the hands. And again, we're going to roll over to the side and around to the front, over to the side, and back, looking up. And then reversing that circle. Keep stretching out through your head, up through the spine as you go to the side, around, over to the side, and back into that center, coming back upright into extended mountain. Shoulders still down. 
And again, this arm sweeping out and down to your sides. Take a breath, shoulders back and down. And we'll do our pelvic tilts. So remember, toes angle out with that whole leg turning. So your knee goes toward your toes, second toes. Bend your knees right above those toes, hands above your knees so your shoulders come above the toes. Everything nice and aligned in that front of your body. And then straighten your spine. So the sitting bones go back, the ribs go up and toward your heart. And the crown goes away from the sitting bones. And then sink into the back, then pushing those hips way back and the chest forward, looking to the front. Feel that low back, stretch it out. Tuck the sitting bones down and forward, reaching through the ribs back toward your spine, rounding into that forward bend as you look down. So a whole C shape in your back. Inhale, pushing out into the back, and really drop those ribs down. Push those sitting bones back, chest forward. And again, rounding forward, pulling in through the ribs, down with those sitting bones tucking under and forward. Shoulders relaxed, no pressure in your hands. One more time into the back bend, really rib, ribs down, chest forward. And then ribs back, really tucking that whole sitting bone pelvic area down and forward. And then inhale back up and into mountain pose. Feel a little more circulation through the whole midsection of your body. Take a breath. Exhale in tension. Hands to your hips. We're going to really circle those hips around one more time. Just getting that whole hip, pelvis, lower body area loosening up. Pushing the sitting bones way back to the side, to the front, to the side, to the back. Just circling around as big of a circle as feels good. And then stop and go the other way, circling to the opposite side, all the way around. Keep those knees slightly bent. Keep that pelvis really working around and moving. Trying to get things a little more warmed up there. And then releasing back up into mountain pose. Sitting bones down, ribs in and up, shoulders relaxing, hands to your heart. Inhale, follow the hands toward the ceiling. Swan dive forward, separate the hands, chest bleeding coming down parallel to the floor, and then dropping the legs off. Lift those sitting bones up. Round through that back of your body. Hands sliding up under your knees, everything straight, elbows, knees, and spine. Bend your knees, come all the way to the floor. So sinking down into child's pose, separate your knees this time. And come as far chest toward the floor in front of your body toward the floor as you can. Take a breath. And exhale. Tuck your forehead toward the floor and then start at the bottom of your spine and wind your way back all the way up. Bring your knees together and again over into child's pose. This time with that low back getting a little more stretch. Take a breath. Relax. And then inhaling, come on back up. And sliding off, coming to stamp position. So feet out in front, pressing out through the bottoms of your feet. Sitting bones behind you, get a little padding if you need to for that pelvic tilt to open. Let's work on that outside of the hip a little bit to warm up that hip rotator. So foot to your upper thigh, knee coming down toward the floor. Just relax, exhaling tension. Remember, you can bring this leg over to the side for a little easier opening through the hips and pelvis. You can bring your hands to that knee, but remember, don't press. We don't want to stress and strain the muscle. We want it to relax. So just a little extra weight if you'd like or not, your choice. Just let this outside of the hip have a little release. 
exhale tension. Just let that knee come as far toward the floor as it wants on its own time. On your own, of course, you can hold this way a lot longer and then I'll release that even more. And then bring your foot and your hand to your knee or wrap your arms around and pull that leg in and move it back and forth, getting a little bit more lubrication in the side of your hip joint. Take a breath, relaxing. Spine still straight, core still active. And if you want more intensity, you can bring the foot closer or higher as you move it. And then when that feels ready, you can release that foot back near the other one. Feel the difference on the two sides. Take a breath. Keep that core supporting you. Keep that spine straight and lengthening. Sitting bones slightly behind you. And bring the other foot up. And again, knee and toes up on your front leg, either up to the side or still straight to the front. Take a breath, let this knee come down. Again, you can add weight, but not pressure if you want a little bit more opening. Always personal practice doing what's right for your body on each side. Just feel that hip area relaxing all the leg and thigh and calf muscles releasing, exhaling any tension. Let it go as deeply as it wants. And then after it's warmed a bit, bring your foot and knee up or pull your leg all the way in. And again, just work it back and forth. Relax it, keep the spine still straight, the shoulders still relaxed, everything just moving side to side, breathing deeply, tension out. Leg closer if you'd like or not, your choice. And again, releasing that, bring the leg back out to the center. Take a moment and breathe, stretch up through the spine. And we're going to bring one foot to the inner thigh. We'll do our diving dolphin. So remember, the knee is out to the side. The other knee bends straight to the front. Bring it back near your hip, the heel near your hip, but not under. Give yourself room to move through that spinal area. And stretch the spine apart, core still activated. Exhale and turn all the way to the side. Feel that whole lower back, lower hip area near the end. Hands on your leg or the floor, ribs back, tuck your chin slightly, forehead down. Exhale into the knee. And then inhaling as you bring your face forward and up toward the sun and the sky. Keep the back of the neck, the back of the whole body stretching out as you go up. Exhaling down, diving under your the dolphin. Inhale, lifting up to the sun and the sky. Feel that forward bend, really stretching the back of your body as you go down as slowly or slower as you like. Lift back up, keep lifting and stretching as you come to the top. And again, one more day and one more rise. And at the top, pause and exhale back to the center and release your legs. As you get back into staff position, just take a moment feeling that lower body, the whole spine, everything activated a little bit more. And we'll bring that foot up to the other leg and then the other knee back by the hip. And again, that hip is up so that it's not planted. That keeps that lower back from getting over twisted. Lengthen up through the spine so those bones are all separating so they've got room to twist and turn to the side. And again, ribs down and in. Exhale, chin slightly tucked, forehead down toward the knee. And face forward. Heart forward, coming back up to the sun and the sky, shoulders down. Keep lengthening both directions through that back of your body. Exhaling down, lifting, inhaling, stretching through the spine, even when it goes into the back bend on the way up. 
Again, exhale down under. Really feel that stretch that you're letting through that whole back of your body throughout the whole process of diving and rising. One more time, really slowly stretch from the back of the knees and spine all the way up. Lifting again, still stretching that whole spine coming up. And then exhaling around to the center and releasing your legs. Sitting bones behind you. Bring your hands to your sides, shoulders down, arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Stretch up, but shoulders down. Stretch your whole spine. Exhale, bring your hands down all the way to your shoulders. Inhale, stretch way up. Exhale again, sink down into the sitting bones, hands to your shoulders. Now from the sitting bones, really rise through your head, through your fingertips all the way up. Pivot at your hips. Exhale, really stretch the back of your body as you pivot forward, reaching for your feet as far as your hands want to go. Kneecaps toward your thighs, tightening the front of your thighs, letting the back of your legs stretch and straighten as you reach your hands through your toes. So bring your hands to your leg or your feet wherever they reach, and then straighten your whole spine. So bring your head up, move your sitting bones a little bit more behind you. Lengthen from the sitting bones out through the crown. Exhale, bring your chest towards your knees a little bit further, and then tuck your chin in slightly as you bring your forehead even further down towards your knees. Take a breath, push out through the bottoms of your feet. Exhale, push your hands even further toward your feet. Push your head even further toward your feet. Hold back of your body, really stretching open. And then bring your arms back by your ears, straighten your back, pivot up all the way, shoulders down, fingertips toward the ceiling, hands out and back to your sides. Feel that whole back of your body a little bit more stretched. And we're gonna bring the feet to the end of the mat. Core activated, and I'll roll all the way down to the floor. Take a moment, recline the integration, let those shoulders release. Push the sitting bones slightly toward your heels. And let that back relax down onto the floor. Turn your hands, palms down near your sides. Push those sitting bones again down, bringing your spine to the floor, bend your knees. Bring those heels in right near your sitting bones, knees straight up toward the ceiling. So remember a little rolling at the top of the thigh to make sure those knees don't spread apart. Hands, palms down, shoulders and shoulder blades down. Push the sitting bones toward your heels. Push the whole back of your body into the floor. And then tuck the sitting bones back down. Lift your ribs, arch up so you get a space under your back. And keep lengthening out through the top of your head as you're doing that. So you want to keep stretching through that whole lower back while you're arching up. And then pressing it down, really sitting bones toward your heels with that whole back pressing down. Keep lengthening out through the crown, out through the sitting bones. So that whole back of your body is really stretching open. And then again, sitting bones, tucking down further, lifting the ribs, lifting that whole back into your back bend as you feel that arch up. Get as much space under your back as feels good for you. Remember, personal practice, don't overdo it. Press it down, really getting that spine that's connected to the floor all the way as you possibly can. And then just relax. Take a breath, keep those knees straight up. We're going to go into a bridge. So sitting bones toward your heels, pressing down. Lift the hip bones straight up toward the ceiling. Weight even into both feet, into the base of the big toe and the little toe, the whole bottom of your foot supporting you. You're on your shoulders, not your neck. The back of your head is connected. 
hands palms down near you, work up onto your shoulders, maybe a little bit more, lift those hips, but make sure you're still stretching those sitting bones away from you. Keep lifting as high as you'd like. And then release your shoulders, your shoulder blades, pull the ribs down, pull the whole spine down, stretch those sitting bones toward your heels even more, and then relax. And slide your legs out. Bring your hands to T position. Bend your right knee, put the foot on your left thigh. I'm going to roll all the way over to the side, left side. Hands together on the floor, head down. Get a pad if you need to, so you don't overwork your neck. Knee all the way to the floor. The more you keep the knee down, the more you're going to get that stretch in the lower back. Hand to your knee. Keep it on the floor. Right arm up, right above your shoulder, palm open. Keep that hand right at shoulder level, coming back behind you toward the floor, back of the hand to the floor, palm open toward the ceiling. Look at that right arm as it lowers. So as you go, shoulder blades still toward your waist, knees still down toward the floor, and head turning, shoulder coming toward the floor. So your whole spine goes into this twist. I remember you can hold this twist a lot longer on your own because this is really beneficial to stretching out through that lower back. So remember, knee down for that lower back twist. The more you press the knee down, the more that lower back is working down into that twist. The more your arm is coming toward the floor, that's bringing your whole middle back into the twist. Don't worry if it doesn't get to the floor. Do what's right for your body, always personal practice. And head turning, looking toward that arm behind you for that neck area twist. So if you need a pad under your knee, if that lower back is feeling overworked, you can do that. Or just really press it down into the floor as much as you can. Get that shoulder coming as far toward the floor. This is that chiropractic twist that they use to release that whole spine into its natural openings. Take a breath, the more you exhale, the more you release those ligaments and deepen. And from there, just release the knee, roll onto your back, slide the foot near the other one. Because of course, you've got a twist to the other side. So take a moment as you get back onto your back, feeling the difference between the sides of your body, noticing what is going on through your spine, through your pelvis, through that lower back and hip area. And of course, bend your left leg this time, foot to the right thigh, roll all the way over to the right side, knee all the way down to the floor. Hold the knee on the floor as much as you can. Left arm right above your shoulder, palm open your nose. Don't bring it down toward your foot or up toward your head, but straight up. And then straight behind your right shoulder level so that heart opens nicely into that middle of that twist. And going toward the floor as much as it wants. Be down toward the floor as much as your lower back wants. And again, turn your head for that neck twist as well. Take a breath. Really exhale, let those ligaments release on this side. You may notice adjustments going on in your spine as you do this chiropractic twist that helps to release any tension between the bones, letting them have more space and enabling any pinched nerve down there in that sciatica area to give a little bit of release. Take a breath, really releasing and relaxing into your twist. Remember, as far as your body wants to go only. And to release, of course, hold it on your own longer, but for now, just release the knee, roll onto your back, slide the foot down near the other one, coming all the way into corpse position, hands, palms up, shoulders down, and sitting down slightly toward your heels, and then just relax. Toes toward each other, 
and then releasing the lower body as well. Take a breath in, and exhale through your lips, just blowing out any tension. Do that a couple times, drawing in through your nose, out through just those slightly separated lips. Lengthening that exhalation, releasing any tension left in your body. Deepening into that earth embrace, letting your body grow heavy and sink. As your body relaxes even further, scan through it and notice any tension and let it go. And as you release your body from your awareness, know that other thoughts will come to your mind. Just let them drift away as easily as your breath. Thoughts flowing in and flowing out. It's the job of your mind to produce those thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. Just let the thoughts drift in and out without attention. And let awareness release both your body and your mind. Focus inward on that peace within. Fill your awareness with peace. Fill your body. Fill your mind. Fill your whole being in peace. And if you can keep relaxing even longer, take as much time as you have opportunity. It's time to return to the moment to get ready for the rest of your day. Just begin drawing energy and awareness with your breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. As you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however feels good for you. Maybe move around through those hips and lower back or so. A little bit, roll your shoulders. Breathe more deeply and stretch more completely whenever you're ready to do that. And when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, press your back slightly down, draw your heels up toward your hips and your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. When you're ready to release that, bring your head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.